Welcome, namaste, thanks so much for watching. My name is Kelly Atkins and I'm the owner and director of Jewel Lotus Yoga in Leesburg, Florida. And I'm going to give you a certain amount of poses, so several poses, all linked together. And what we do is we call that a flow. And these poses are going to help tone problem areas of the body, if you will. So great for the thighs, great for the butt, um, toning the calves, the shoulders, and the arms, so that you're going to look beautiful on your wedding day. This is a great thing for you to do in the morning when you wake up, or if you already have an exercise regimen right after you work out. So if you're just doing this right out of bed, then I would suggest that you warm up with a couple sun salutations, and that's just a series of poses done in a particular order. Okay, so we're just going to start in a standing position. And you want to just get a sticky mat and lay it down somewhere where it's not going to slip. So not like on carpet or anything. So we're going to come to the top of the mat. We're just going to talk just a little bit about the feet. So you want to spread your toes out nice and wide. You want to do yoga barefoot. And then you want to draw up from the core of your body, so navel to the spine. Bring your shoulders back in line with your hips. And just let your hands float down effortlessly to the side. And just take a few breaths here through the nose primarily, so in and out through the nose. And what we're going to do next is called chair pose or squat pose. So we're going to come down, bend down till our fingertips can touch the floor, and we're going to try to bring some weight back into the heels. So see how I can lift my toes, and then I'm going to bring my arms all the way up, ideally in line with my ears. And if you have a low back injury, you're going to bring your arms out to the sides. So bring your arms up if you can. You're going to look up, take a big breath in here, and try to bring weight back into the heels. Your thighs are engaged. This is a great pose to tone the low body. And if you want to amp it up a little bit, make it a little more challenging, you're going to lift your heels and really try to squeeze the lower abs in and up. And you can just hold this for as long as you want. Breathing in and breathing out. And when you're done, you're going to bring your heels down to the mat, straighten your legs as best you can, and bring your fingertips down. And then just shake that out. You can pedal the feet. So from here, we're going to step back with our right foot. And when you're doing this at home, you want to do both sides. But I'm just going to show you one side. So you're going to really find power in your lower body. Spread out the toes. On an inhale, bring your arms all the way up toward the ceiling. Again, you want to bring your arms back in line with the ears if you can. You can sink down quite a lot into the front thigh. If that feels good, go ahead and do it, but be mindful of the front knee and the front ankle. You want to keep that in a big straight line. Now we're going to open up and come into warrior two. And both of these poses build up strength and stamina in the low body. So warrior two, you want to squeeze the arms. Stretch them energetically away from the center line and really drop from the core of the body once again. From here, we're going to spin our hands down to the mat and spin on the back foot toes. We're going to step back, come to downward dog and just take a little rest. So you can move your hips from side to side. Downward dog is called the yoga facial because it brings light, energy, and fresh oxygenated blood to the face. And just take a couple breaths here and relax. From there, we're just going to walk the feet forward, bend the knees a lot, come onto the sits bones, and then roll on back. Keep the feet planted as close as you can to the buttocks. So heels and the buttocks are in a straight line if they can be, and the knees and the ankles are in a straight line if they can be. So this pose called bridge pose that we're going into next is a, is a toner for the back body once again, but it's also a really nice way to give you opening in the chest. So you want to press your hands down to the mat, and on an exhale, press into your feet, lift your hips all the way up, You want to try to strengthen the front of the legs, press the thighs forward as you bring the hips and the pelvis up, up, up. And we've held that for a 
few breaths, you want to just come on down and relax. And before you do anything else, you want to take a little twist and let the spine relax. So let the knees float over to one side, and you can look to the other side. And then change sides, knees to one side, gaze to the other. So if you're doing this at home and you want to add just a little more pose to amp up, so to really tone the lower body, this is a great place to insert abdominal work. So you can come into your crunches if you want, or you can do bicycle abs, right? Side body working. So that's a great thing to do at the end of your practice. So we're going to pretend that I just did all that, and we're just going to cross the legs, float on up to a seat. And we're just going to end with some gentle twisting, sitting up. So take one hand to the opposite knee, same hand behind the shoulder. Take a big breath in, fill up the upper chest, and then exhale, gently twist. Couple breaths per side, and then you just want to change sides. And remember, if you're doing this at home, I just showed you one side, so you want to do the other leg. Thanks so much for watching. Namaste.